All right, guys, MUV Thursday Night League, week number four. And I'm telling you right now, I got my two teammates here, of course, Hop Up Reed. We've been in the finals three times now straight. We've won it one time, so we're, we're used to being all the way to the finals. Yes, we only won it one time, but we lost twice in the finals, but three in a row. Of course, Francis Fresh, he's been here the whole time with me. He's actually one of the one of the dynamic guards that I have that's been doing all the stuff that needs to be done for a championship run. Now, now Francis, I know we we're, we're not we're supposed to play tonight. Uh, we didn't have enough guys to show up, but of course, um, the Night Owls is going to go ahead and cover that spot for us, so we get a bye week. We are one and two for this season, and you know I think we've only lost two two games in two seasons right now, right? Yeah. So how do you feel about our team though, with the guys that we played with the first week you were here? Um, I feel like we got a great team. Once we're all here, we just run, keep the energy high, and uh, we can score them, but just play defense. So I think we're in a great position to uh, make some noise. Yes. And when we lost, I wasn't here either. So. I'm just <laughs> well, we had we had a lot of injuries this season, and and one of those injuries is Anthony Garcia. You remember Anthony, of course. He had, he's got it. He's going to be out for probably a couple seasons before he comes back. But you know how Anthony played? Well, yeah. we got a guy, brand new, came from Miami, plays at our LA Fitness Runs, Jackson here, and he's he's kind of that Swiss Army knife. He can do it all. He loves to play defense. He, he's a great facilitator, and he can guard the bigs and the smalls. Uh, tell, uh, tell everybody out there, what kind of basketball background do you have from high school? Uh, I grew up in New Hampshire, so I play high school basketball in New Hampshire, actually. Oh, but yeah, East after Coast. that, uh, yeah, East Coast, East Coast East guys. East Coast basketball, huh? Uh, but yeah. All right. Now, after that, no. Did you play any basketball when you were in Miami? I played pick up. Pick up? Yeah, you? just pick up. Yeah. It's, it's good basketball. Good basketball there. over yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, for get, sure. Did for you sure. get into some leagues or just pick up runs? Nah, I just pick up runs at uh, Margaret, Pace, Margaret Pace Park in oh, okay. Miami, Florida. Oh, nice. It's nice. pretty good, yeah, pretty good. Nice. Well, for you guys that don't know, Hopper Breed, kind of a new, fresh look. But of course, I got these two guys regularly that's going to be playing with us this season, and uh, we're one and two. But don't don't count out Hopper Breed. These two, these two guys know. Let's do it. Let's go, Hopper Breed. <laughs> yeah, I was here for the the two losses <laughs> so last week, so I'm sorry, but uh, we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna pick it up. All right, <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you guys next week. All right, guys. We're, like I said, game one tonight. The Night Owls will be playing a back-to-back -to -back tonight. The Night Owls are going to play, of course, Emerald City Legends. Now, there's some familiar faces on there, and one of them was a former teammate of mine here. Uh, Kevin Villalobos is actually the captain of this team. And they have two other faces that kind of played on other teams in this, uh, in this Move Fitness League. Uh, one of my favorite players to watch is Chase. You guys will love to see his game. He kind of be able to do both sides of the court. He can he can handle the ball. He facilitates well. He moves well without the ball. He's just fun to watch. He's got his brother, the big guy. That's going to be a, a, a big help for them down low. And that's for rebounding and being able to score down by the rim. But I do have a former college player at Shoreline that is here. His name is Kaz. And uh, Kaz is on this team. It's, it's going to be fun to see him and, and see him for the first time. I haven't seen him for a couple years playing. But he's here to play. So... Stay tuned, guys. You guys out on deployment. You guys had to come back, and you know Dante was like, "Hey, we're okay with back-to-backs, or or twice a week, or whatever, to catch up, you know, with the rest of the league." But how do you feel right now, playing back-to-back? -back? It's tough. I mean, it's really tough to do. It's really tough because uh, coming straight off of work, you don't have time to hydrate, and yeah. then going back-to-back, -back, you don't have time to go get a drink, right. eat a banana, or get that potassium right, <laughs> so you ain't cramping. So that's how we we feeling right now. We just cramped up and yeah. couldn't catch up. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a military brat, and I really appreciate the military guys coming down. I was always waiting to be able to host a military team, and when Dante called me up, I was like, great. So I understand how there's great teams, great players in the military ranks all over the state, all over the country. Uh, I really like your game. You got a, go a good three-point shot there. You already kept them in the game down the stretch there, huh? And you kind of get to the hole pretty strong. What's your background in basketball? High school ball? Uh, I played a little high school, and then I played a little juco back in Virginia. Uh, TCC. 
We went down to uh, UNC playing that national championship back in uh, 2000, 2006. Okay. They came in second, so. Okay, all right. Trying to get coaches, so y'all know. In the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I coach college basketball, so I got that coach's eye. I like your game. Appreciate you, man. Sure. We'll see you again next week, okay? All right. Take care. All right, here we go, nightcap game. And we got the guys, the defending champions, up against, of course, the Perseverance team. Perseverance team has, of course, got the Steph Curry of the league right now in Teo. He's one of the higher, higher percentage shooters in this league. And of course, David played a little overseas in Morocco and some other places, missing a, missing a shot there, but at 6'7", six, 6'8", six, shooting guard, coming from the left side. It's gonna be hard to guard that guy. Now we got on the post here. Oh, loose ball there. Zay getting it, throwing it up high. Turnover. This is the game I've been waiting for tonight. Oh, from the... Is that their first shot? We gotta remove this out of the way. Okay, move it down here if you want. Put it on the in between the table too. All right. Hey Kev, I'm telling you, watching these two teams play, these are these are two exciting teams with, with some high caliber talent on it. Uh, they're gonna definitely go back and forth at each other because they're there's these two teams know each other well, they're gonna be competing against the other strong. Yeah, I mean, you got the defending champ, the guys, and you got the team that I honestly thought was going to win, but, you know, the, the schedule problems, they couldn't have their full team last season. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a look at uh, the two hotter teams right now, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Now, Now I like I like DeMonte here, number 24. You know, I've, I've interviewed him last week, and, and he's one of those guys that really plays strong down low. I mean, his... At, at, you know, kind of looking at him, uh, being able to go into the lane and do the things he does, it kind of reminds me of like Donovan Mitchell style uh, basketball. Uh, his fluidity, the way he handles the ball, the way he drives the lane. Uh, I like his game. He's from Chicago. Yeah, I met him once uh, at some random run uh, with Zach. Uh -huh. And yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's a physical player. Mm -hmm. He's just one of those guys you don't like playing against because he's going to make you work. Yeah. Um, he's going to yeah. throw himself around. He's not He's not scared to, to take some contact. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, Will from the outside. Oh, good, Will. Will the thrill. He's one of my favorite guys to play with, actually. Will? Oh, yeah. Because he, he understands how to spot up. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, this starting five of theirs right here, I mean, these are five guys out there. They all can score, you know, and then you got this guy, Teo, quietly. Oh, no. Wow. All right, here is 16, clock, the clock. 16 and a half minutes to go here, eight to seven. Corner, Spencer throwing it down to Chris. Chris is posting up, throws it back to Spencer. Spencer's gonna try to weave his way in there somehow, get inside the paint, kick it back out, don't leave. Well, the, the referee called a travel on that.
Will is a gym rat, man. He's over there Monday, Wednesday, Friday at LA Fitness Mill Creek where we play at 11 to 1 o'clock. And uh, he's out here playing Tuesdays and Thursdays in this league. Yeah, that's what we do when we love this game so much. We want to be out there all the time, compete against these guys. Passing over, stolen. DeMonte going inside. Donovan Mitchell kind of sidestep layups. David. Foul on, foul on number eight. Oh, block. There's a nice layup there. Oh, what a pass. Nice look there to DeMonte. Next dead ball, huh? He's on there. Next dead ball, so he's coming in. Meaning next, next stop, next out of bounds, next stoppage. He's gonna come in. He's got checking in. Chris from the outside. Just when he comes in, Josiah from the outside, three-pointer. Oh. Off of the outside, no good. Here comes Josiah coming up. Oh, missed the pass. Number 18, new player debuting here in, in the Move Fitness. We'll probably interview him later, find out his little back, background of his basketball. Oh, Spencer from the outside. Three-pointer. Did the score go up? Right. Yeah. Okay. Josiah with the layup. 27-22. Chris from the outside, missing it. Tobin with the rebound, bringing it down. It's always great to have a big man be able to rebound and bring the ball down and be a facilitator. He's a dream on green. He's a dream on green of the team. Yeah. Uh, Tobin, like the Draymond Green of, of the guys, able to rebound and facilitate and kind of... Oh, there's a push from behind. 18, Josiah. All 
All right, we got another uh, another basketball buddy getting into the game for the first time. Ricky making his debut here in the spring league. Ricky's gonna get in there and bang. He's gonna play defense. Mm -hmm. Not a, not afraid to be physical either. Yep. And you got Val too. So. Yeah, Ricky. Uh, Ricky, I've known Ricky for a while now. He actually is a, a basketball player in the AAPBA. Um, he's got a good team he plays with over there, and uh, of course, playing in pickup runs around town. MUV, of course, is one of the places he'll play. Now, you leave a guy wide open like that. Teo from the outside. Uh oh, here we go. Another three. Oh, almost. Oh, stolen here. Oh, wow. Just like that. 29. 30. This is going to be a battle, Kev, back and forth. I'm excited for this. I don't, I don't know. I need some popcorn for this. Yeah, this is the game. Look at his highlights back and forth. You know, I really like him. You can see the offensive talent that we got out here, but also on the defensive side, they're aggressive. They're not letting anybody go in easy. You know? Yeah, they're actually playing defense. A lot, a lot of the games sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, the defense is kind of relaxed. Yep. Today, today they're playing deep. Good move by Davis. Yep. Davis. Davis Davis having a hard time over here. He's been banged around probably a couple times in this game. Uh, yeah. Well, he weighs the same as me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm five foot nine. He's yeah. six <laughs> Well, you know, uh, Davis like me. He wear he likes to wear those long pants in, in games, keep yeah. the legs warm. But David also has a younger brother that plays pretty well too, yeah? Good shooter. Yeah, uh, I'm not, didn't he play for Everett as well? I'm not sure, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Oh, net, Spencer. Spencer means business tonight. He's brought his team in, he's captain of his team. He's put together a really nice squad here. Uh, and, oh, outside, oh, Zay. Zay coming back strong. The defending champions are trying to tell them, we're not going anywhere, we're right here. Wow, Here's strong the move there by DeMonte. Hey, he's gonna be the key for, uh, for the perseverance. Uh, yeah, perseverance for sure. Yeah. Yep. Here comes Val, Val's another very important player for them. Good facilitator. Missing that three right there, though. Oh, get on that. Six and a half minutes to go, 38-36. Teo from the outside, no good. Zay with the rebound. Over to the corner. Here comes Sean Kirk. They got an offensive call there. Ricky from the corner, no good there. And here comes just the side of the corner. Sean Kirk missing it though. Spencer from the outside, and oh, missing it. Strong rebound by Tobin, AKA Draymond Green. Bring it down the middle with the dribble. Goes inside, a little flip. He's got a little more flair to him than Draymond sometimes, I think. Yeah, man, Tobin, Tobin never stops. Yeah. Always, always has a motor. 
Uh -huh. Good attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, really funny guy. Just <laughs> love being around him. Yeah. <laughs> really high pick here. To the corner. Tobin kicking it out. Good ball movement by the guys. No good there. David looks like he's struggling there. He's got an injury. And they only got one extra guy on the bench. Man, I don't know how much longer David can handle this. It's only the first half here. He's struggling. Oh! Yeah, there's some guys right now on this court. Some guys that can play. Yeah, okay. David's gonna take a break. Yeah, here they come. You know, I, I like it when other teams stick around after they lose to watch, you know, these games. You know, you know, I love it to see, when, you know, even on the faces of the teams that lose, that deep thought that they have because that's how much they love this game, you know, how to figure out how to get better, how to figure out how to get their team at the level they want to be able to compete against these other teams that they're out now watching, right? Yeah. No, I'm still confident in my guys, but we got to start getting wins because, you know, not every team can go to the playoffs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of studying these guys, seeing their tendencies, mm -hmm. seeing how, how we can have a game plan for yep. whatever team we go against. Right, right. All right, this is the first half, Kev, 33 seconds to go. Uh, the guys uh, looking like with a 46-39 lead. Um, you know, I, I think it's going to really come back down to the wire anyway, you know, both these teams. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like the guys are getting in transition, getting buckets. I feel like if, I'm sorry, what's the name again? Tail. 
Oh, the white team? Chris, oh, Perseverance. I feel like if Perseverance starts using their size, they can yeah. they can kind of make the guys struggle a little bit. But they're kind of settling for some jumpers. Yeah. Right. Besides Teo, um, and maybe Spencer a little bit, they got to go inside. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right, back to the game, Kev, second half, 46-41. It's only a five-point game, you know. Both these teams are gonna kind of battle, look at that. Wow. Good defense by Chris, but it's hard, you know. You know you know how it is, you know, some guys don't know guys and they don't know how the tendencies are, but that's something Chris likes to do, right? I mean, uh, that's what uh, Big Dave likes to do. Get you on your yeah. heels, though, he can pull up and take that six, eight frame shot with Val's doing what he does. What do we got here? Three seconds in the paint. Yeah, they got it. What's, uh, what's number 24's name for uh, the white team? Perseverance? What's that? What's 24's name for the white team? Oh, uh, DeMonte, yeah, DeMonte. DeMonte, they got to go to him. Yeah, well, they, do, they really do. They really do. He's got to kind of be the focal point of making a decision with the ball. There it is, back in the corner. There's, and here comes Spencer. Spencer kicking off to DeMonte. Ooh, look at that, little move there. Oh. I, I gotta say, like I said, De uh, Donovan Mitchell kind of kind of game style of play. Yeah, you, you gotta keep putting the pressure mm -hmm. in the inside, then they can start getting threes. Yep. You gotta keep going. Yeah, that's right. Keep it going. Man. Wow. 49-46. Tail with a long shot. Oh, nice curl. Look at the ball movement. I love it. I love the good basketball. You know me, Kev. 
I love it when I see teams play together, move the ball, take advantage of mismatches. You know, look at this battle right here. Oh, Val coming in, sneaking in. And uh oh, here we go. This is gonna be it right here. Oh! 49, 49. That was a three. 49, 49. Aggressive, drawing the foul. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's true. 17 minutes left in the in the in the, the nightcap game, and when I put this schedule together, I knew this is the game that everybody's gonna want to see. You know, there's two two teams that are super talented and very competitive. Yeah. But look at that. Case that's in point. Tobin, that's what Tobin does, man. That's that's a headache to guard. They gotta put a body on him. Yes. Yes. Moving the ball around tail. Step back is, oh, I was ready to say. There it is, moving it on up to Wayne. Oh, the foul, and, and good. Another Mariner guy, number Emerald City legend type guy, right? He's yeah. over there playing over there too, I remember. Yeah. DeMonte with a strong move. Wow! That's the guy I like, man. DeMonte, one of those players, man. Inside out. DeMonte yeah. inside, pale outside. Oh, good. Oh, good ball protection there going in there, right? Got a good looking game. Yeah. Going out to DeMonte. DeMonte taking it in mid -sync. Oh, he likes to get closer. In and out, David. He's gonna move it over. Oh, wrong guy. Oh, it's stolen. Zay going up to the, oh! oh what pass. a pass. What a pass. Over the top. <laughs> People don't know about it, but Isaiah has a great, uh, Passing vision. Yeah. Great passing vision. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I, I saw I saw um, Zay at what high school girls basketball game, Linwood. And we were actually recruiting, watching Linwood play, and uh, I didn't know that he had a sister playing for Linwood. Now I heard yeah. you they have another sister play for Seattle U. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, uh, his sister's Talia, she plays for Seattle U. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't really followed their games, but from what I hear, I heard she's doing well over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his, his sister for uh, for Linwood. She's a shooter. I remember uh, talking to him a little bit about about that, and of course, watching the game. They do have a superstar girl that's an underclassman over there. I think uh, that as uh, their point guard for Linwood. She's going to be really good next year. I'll keep an eye on her for recruiting purposes. Yeah, I mean, ever since I know, Linwood girls have always been just like really good. Yeah. Oh, nice ball movement. There it is up top. Here it is. There it is. Wow. Good decision there. <laughs> Let's hey, the, the guys, the guys are really good right now in transition. When these guys are taking threes, that's why I don't, I don't really advise perseverance to take so many threes. Yeah. Unless it's tail or. Yep. You know what I mean? Like really pounded inside. Yep. Oh, good fake. Inside, no good. But Chris gets it back. Chris going to get inside close. Good defense by Tobin. And here comes AKA Donovan Mitchell. Inside, DeMonte. Strong move. Staying aggressive. 
Like I said, that's the key. Demonte going in, Teo sliding up. Yep. Avoid, avoid him. Yeah. Come on over for a second. I got Josiah over here, his debut in the in the in the spring league. I wanted to ask you a question, man, because you know me and Kevin was kind of watching you play. Uh, what, what's your basketball background? Where'd you play high school and, and or college? Squalicum High School. I played at Lewis and Clark State College and yeah. one year in Morocco, baby. All right, there we go. So there you go. He played up in Morocco. Um, now, just to let you know, uh, David, his, his teammate, played up there too. That might be the connection uh, to get him over here to play. Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark State College. I'm not sure where that is. Is that Oregon or Idaho? Oh, Oregon. Oregon? Yeah. 58-53, 11 minutes and 40 seconds to go in this game. And there it is, pull up, good! Messiah, we got some some overseas ex college players matching up against each other over here. Uh, Tobin said, you know, a nice little comment he made about the league. He was one of the best leagues he played here in Washington State. You know, good competition. So it's good to hear from these guys that have been played around different places. Wow, Spencer, 61-56. Spencer's really focused tonight. He's, he's hitting from deep. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Wow. David with a wow behind the back. Saved it. Leaning sideways. Whatever you call it, he hits it. Man, being six foot nine and being able to be able to have that handle, handle, right? Whoa. Good defense by Tobin. I thought Tobin was going to hand on that. That was close. Seven fifty-eight. Ten minutes to go. Will looking, looking for somebody. Ooh, that could have out. I like the team chemistry of uh, both teams, but you know, with this with this perseverance team, you know, you got a nice a nice balance of, of course, dangerous shooters, Teo and and Spencer, but you got the hard-working uh, players like. Big Chris and of course Val over there, you know, and then of course you got another shooter in Will. So you know, and then of course you got the dynamics of of Demonte. So what a nice little round of players they got. Yeah, I like their team, man. Um, they still have a chance to win this game. I mean, it's only, only uh -huh. nine, nine point game. Oh yeah. Teo can hit three threes in like twenty seconds. Yep. Uh, oh. Okay, there it is, a foul there. Him at Emerald City too. I gave him your phone number. He wanted to play in the league. Chris? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Um, played football. Uh -huh. He played football in college. Oh, okay. Yeah. From the south, uh, like Louisiana, I think, somewhere out there. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually trying to recruit him because I was thinking of a big. I needed a big, <laughs> and I gave him your number, but I didn't get his number. Oh, so I was, yeah. Why? Well, I, I, you know, I might have reached out to you, and I'm not sure, but somebody knows him over here too. They got him on that team, yeah. for sure. Here comes Josiah now. Josiah bringing the ball down. 
as he said, he's played college ball. Wow. He played overseas, but Tobin, Tobin is, like you said, man, he's, he's fun to watch. That guy can kind of play with the bigs, play with the smalls. Such an easy bucket. I mean, they didn't, they didn't see him coming, hasn't really shot the whole game. Uh huh. Easy bucket. Yeah. Whoa, oh. DeMonte from all the way from Chicago, that shot. That was deep. Here we go. Going inside again, going in strong, kicking it out. David outside, no good. And here comes Val. Val lining up a situation here. What is he looking for? Waiting for his guys to show up. Chris coming inside, layup. Oh, misses an easy bucket, I guess, if you want to call it. David, he will take that shot. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. 74 62, just under seven minutes to go. We got a 12 point lead here. <laughs> oh, well, the thrill. Another one. Oh, Will. Will from the outside, 74 65, nine point game now. Inside pass to Tobin. Tobin inside it. Oh, foul there on Sean, Sean Kirk getting the foul, getting to the free throw line. We got we got the time and the clock running right now. You know, 74-65. You know, Perseverance is looking to try to come back strong here. You know, uh, you know, looking at looking at looking at the guys. You know, when they first came in the league. You know, they didn't, they didn't start off as perfect as they thought they would. And they they barely squeaked into the playoffs last year, right, Kev? Yeah. At the eighth seed. Yeah. And that's the eighth seed losing the last game to be able to get in there. Because of what happened in the other games, they actually got into the eighth spot. And then they ran into the number one team, which really is this team right here, Perseverance. Um, Perseverance was not not able to bring in all their guys. They only had four guys, and of course, they end up losing. Yeah. And then, of course, the guys being in rhythm make it all the way. Yeah. Wow, the guys have a good team, man, for sure. I, if I'm gonna be honest, like, they're, they're probably the team to beat. Um, there's a lot of teams, though, that, 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 that can compete with them. Uh -huh. But I would say they're probably the team that, that has, a, has a target on their back. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, here we go. Now, Tails back in the game here with a 10-point lead. Uh, we're looking at a situation where, you know, as long as they're within 10 points, clock, 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 clock. Uh, 4.41 left, timeout right now, 77-67. at the lineups here you know uh, you know just to reiterate the rules of the of the league each team is allowed a maximum of 10 roster spots and if anybody needs to add somebody at that point they have to minus somebody so I don't think all teams have 10 players on their team so they when they do add somebody it's not an issue but uh, now another rule in that Kev just to reiterate this is that last season we used to have the has to play at least one regular season game to make qualification to the playoffs, but this year it has to be minimum three games. Oh, really? For a player to to be, be eligible in the playoffs, it has to be fair for the rest of the league. You don't want to be bringing in fresh blood, you know, just down the stretch here with one game. I like know. that. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it more uh, just more organized. More organized, more committed to the league, more committed yeah. to your your roster. You know, and of course, uh, you, you can't change up, 
You can't change from one team to another. You know, you can't be on two rosters, yeah. basically. Yeah. Wow, outside shot there. I mean, we've got a 13-point lead here with four minutes to go. You know, perseverance, you know. Wow, there we go. We got an outside shot there. No good. Chris gets the rebound, though. Oh. Oh, Chris, if he could have held on to that ball, it looked like he would have a free layup right there. Yeah. And here comes Teo. DeMonte looking to get inside. Little step back mid-range. That looks nice, Kev. Man, his, I don't know what his percentage is, but it's probably up near 60, 65, 70 yeah. right now. Well, you know, the, one of those things about, you know, percentages of mid-range, you got one of the higher ones in the league, so you can be somebody that can appreciate a mid-range jumper like his. Yeah, I like the mid-range. Good pass. Oh! That was, that was kind of crucial for that layup to go in. I would have cut it down below the 10-point threshold you know like I said the rules the rules is you got to be 10 point or less to stop that clock so let's see if they can do that here we go DeMonte from the corner no good oh that was crucial it went from a missed layup to a missed three and now transition and wow good move there it is great move by Sean Kirk that's pretty yeah Is, is, is. Yeah, get Iz's attention. He's been texting me about wanting to put a team in here, but, or at least send Iz, I think. Is. All right, one minute and 39 seconds left. It's it's 11 point game, so you know what it means. They can hold this clock. They can hold this ball. They can hold this situation, even on the foul, but they're trying to get them to shoot early. They're probably not going to. You know, uh, they need to play some defense, get, get a double team pressure up. There it is, going inside. Whoa, throws it out of bounds. Uh, that is interesting right here. They need to get some shots up. There it is. They're gonna move it down here. There it is, shot quick up. Good! Wow. <laughs> That's it, you can't count out. You can't count out perseverance. <laughs> you, can't out, you can't count out perseverance. 82-74, eight point game. Just at the one minute mark. Dave, what, what happened, happened David? All right, ball. Danielle was talking about fouls. Right, seven, it's a situation. Seven. seven. How many guys? They talk to, they're talking to you. They're talking to you. When they talk to you, just they're only going to talk to you.
You know, the irony of this situation here is Tobin came up to me and says, hey, is there some kind of rule could be a change in the last two minutes about like maybe a couple fouls before you get in bonus? And I said, you know, think about basketball. The rules are set from way ba back when. It's a seven foul thing. Clock management, understanding the situation, you need to get those fouls early to not be stuck in this situation where you have to keep fouling and wasting probably about 15, 20 seconds to get five more fouls, right, Kev? Yeah. I f going through these games, I feel like it's smart to use your fouls sometimes, like stop momentum. Correct. I'm starting to see like sometimes teams will get easy buckets where I could at least foul them, yeah. make them have to earn at the line, yeah. stop the momentum. <laughs> you know? That's what I love about ah. it. You know, they got a rebound. They got a box. Okay, there's a foul there. I'm the type of person I want to see a good game. You know, so I want to see something crazy. I want to mm -hmm. see. These guys come down, hit a yeah. shot. Yep. Good. Oh, good. Well, here we go. We got a 10 point game. Throwing it up to Val. Val's gonna go in and pass it out. And you know this is gonna go in because he that's what he does, right? Yep. yep. So here it at 77, 84, timeout. You know, uh, Tail's clutch, you know. Uh, we've watched these games enough to know and play against Tail. Those are the type of times when he when he shows up. And uh, you know, it is a seven-point game right now. It's gonna be a foul free throw contest kind of thing, you know. Zay's gonna have to make these free throws. You know, being around basketball all my life, it's, just, it's, it's fun to see the strategies coming down and being able to see these guys understand it and being, you know, understanding of time management, just being able to use that clock to your advantage, you know, fouls to your advantage, whatever you can do. Now Zay, all he's gonna do is, I call it free throw contest right here, you know? If he makes his free throws, the game should be over. If they don't, it could be interesting. And there it is, all net. So 85-77, we got an eight-point lead. Hey, Kenny, you, uh, you gonna show up next week for the uh, open room? Yeah, but we have eight. Eight. No, can I get eight? So there we are. Yeah, it's looking like that's the game. Yeah, it really is, you know. Just the guys made a statement tonight. Yeah, the guys, you're team. right. You're right. That's they, a good way to say it. Yeah, they made a statement. Yeah. You know, perseverance, you know, they they start off the season pretty strong here. They they had a couple strong wins earlier. And uh, you know, they run into the form, you know, to the defending champions. You know, these guys are all battle tested through, you know, college and they're battle tested through other leagues and a couple of them overseas. So, you know, this was a statement game saying that, hey, you know, we can play basketball too. Yeah. Well, there it is, Tobin with the rebound. That's it, guys. Let's get the okay. interviews going here. How are you? All right, game over. Tobin, Tobin. The Spring League, this was a battle between two good teams. When I put this matchup together this, this week, I knew this was the game to watch. Uh, Tobin, of course, has been played in this league for a few times and the debut of Josiah here, your teammate. And I always say this is a bunch of one option guys trying to play together, but you guys proven it last season by winning a championship and you are defending chance. Now you add this guy here, Tobin, I don't know if you know Josiah, but Josiah, you gave me a little background on you for the YouTube guys out there watching this. Give a little background check on you on basketball. What's your basketball background again? 
I actually played against Tobin in high school, actually, in the district <laughs> tournaments. And uh, I went to uh, Juco with them down at an Olympic, okay. along with uh, Isaiah and David. And then I played AAU with Sean, so it's just a bunch of old teammates getting back together, man. I am just just came here to be an addition piece. Yep. I love hooping with these guys. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, now Tobin, uh, me, me and Kevin were kind of talking, you know, as you're getting rebounds and bringing the ball down fluidly. We kind of were like through that Draymond Green guy out there, right? So how do you feel being able to not only play defense on the bigs, and I see you being able to facilitate offensively, how do you, comfortable are you with that? I'm pretty comfortable with it. In high school, I was a chucker. I just shot, I just shot a lot, I was a, ball, I was a bad guy, but uh, in college, I had to adjust my game, playing with guys like this, leading scorer in the NWAC. Uh, and uh, we had an awesome team, it was a lot of fun, but I've got good at being a role player, someone's gotta do it, and uh, I think it was good to play these guys full yes. strength, because uh, I know they were the one seed last season, They yes. and we played them out of the eight spot, but uh, yes. they didn't have the full team, so I, I wanted a rematch for sure. You know, that's what I thought about putting this thing together. Yeah. You know, I remember that. And, and being able to battle against this, this team right here. Persevere is one of the better teams, yeah. and they really, they really think they're, they were gonna be able to come in and be able to kind of challenge you guys and win this game. But you guys, like I said, are, are, are battle tested through college, through high school, and of course overseas a little bit here and there. Uh, you guys are fun to watch, I'm telling you. So decide now that you played a game and how do you like the league? Have you been able to see any of the teams yet or what have you seen so far? No, so this is the first team that I saw play. Okay. Uh, I already love it. I love the intensity, <laughs> man. People want to come out here and play basketball. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's what it's about. You get you go to some leagues and they running around, nobody's playing defense, but yeah. you see like everybody's out here talking. Everyone <laughs> wants to win and I yes. like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you think, Tom? What do you think about the league so far? Oh, I mean, it gets better competition every season. Yes. And uh, it's cool because now with all of our guys on our team, we've all played together. These guys all played AAU together besides me. Yes. So they have good chemistry, and uh, we'll get the rest of our guys back. And I'm excited to compete. I saw a new team in the league that looks pretty crazy, so I'm yes. excited to play them. Yes. You know, like from the coach's eye for me and be able to put this value in with the interviews and, of course, on the YouTube channel, be able to, for us, we know growing up, uh, we think in our minds we're better than we are until we see each other on film. Then we realize, oh wait, we're not as good as we thought. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yep. What do you think about that? It's not as bad as it, it's not as bad as you think, and it's not as good as you think either. That's what all the coaches say. So you got to watch film. You got to put the time in, baby. Yeah. It's just reps and confidence. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, we were both in the NAI national tournament, and they shut they oh, wow. shut it down on the before we could play. So we got a chip on our shoulder. We got something to prove. Oh, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Man, thank you guys so much, That's man. You guys make this thing yep. yeah, yeah. work. We'll see you guys next week, okay? Yes, sir. Congrats, man. All right. One more thing I want to say. Great night of basketball here at, at Move Fitness um, Silver Lake here in the Spring League. You know, I always got to thank my buddy over here, Anton's doing what he does with the videos. You know, for you guys that don't know, you know, we're we're here all night watching the games, and and Anton actually has to watch it twice because he has to go home and edit this thing and put it out there on, on for you guys to watch on Pacific Northwest Ballers. So I appreciate what he does. Uh, I love his hype hype position that he does on on putting out the hype over here during the game. So if you guys ever come down here and see him do what he does. Uh, go over there and tell them you appreciate it because we do here and of course my daughter here doing a great job with the books you know, She's only 14 going to Cascade High School and she doesn't really know much about basketball But I kind of threw her in the fire and that's what I expect from her She's gonna live and learn and get better and better at what she does But thank you again Danielle for doing what you do and we will see you guys next week in week five spring league MUV foot fitness basketball